Will he be here in a Phil. moment? Oh, here he is. <laughs> hey, everyone. How are you doing? How are y'all doing? Hopefully you had a wonderful weekend. Um, don't forget... Don't forget, we are going to be, this week, you're getting triple dose of us. We've got Mondo's Crafting at Midnight coming up. Hey, Gay 10. We've got Mondo's Crafting at Midnight coming up on Friday, April 19th. So get ready for that. Um, it starts at 11.55 p.m. Eastern. So hopefully... Uh, Many of you can join us for that. Uh, we're going to have a really good time. Uh, let's see who else is here. Netware, how are you? Sarah How's Johnson. Mr. Netware? Sarah Johnson and Dawn is here. Mercy's Pages. Eileen is here. Look at the whole crafty family just showing Beanie up. Beanie Freak. Y'all over here just showing up. So yeah, y'all, we um we're looking forward to Mindless Crafting at midnight. Of course, we'll be on on Thursday at twelve noon, Eastern. For those of you that um that don't know, you might be new to our channel. So welcome to all of you. We have a huge influx of people going into uh, joining our Facebook group. So um say hi and welcome them to our facebook group our uh, mindless crafting group uh it's such a wonderful thing you know so um uh oh netware says i'm at work in person today netware so mr. <laughs> mr netware is missing out <laughs> well good for you Good for all of you joining us today. Uh, look at my table, black and white. It's black and white cards, okay? Thank you for the free digitals, Tracy and Bill. I need to have a play at some point. I know, right? You need to go ahead and play. Hi, I'm Donna. Gonna, I'm going to be in, enjoying that. Um, thanks to many of you that joined us for Scrapathon. Um. Man, that was on Saturday? Oh, my goodness. It seems like such a long time ago. Huh? You do. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We had Scrapathon last week, Saturday. Thanks for staying on for a moment or even the whole four hours, right? Oof. <laughs> so we truly appreciate that. Thank you, Donna, for sharing that. So the new paper that we have um, that I'm working with, with right now, I thought I'd do, if I'm going to do black and white, who says I can't do black and white butterflies, right? I think that would be a good idea for that too. So this is our Funky Doodles paper. And I absolutely love it. Look at that, y'all. So I'm going to be cutting into these today. I'm going to be cutting into these. This is one that I uh, left the white border on, but it's still going. It's still going to work. Just cut it off, right? All I got to do is cut it off. You know what? I just realized I forgot to upload the photos. Where I say come and see the entire collection, but I'll put that in after this live. But it's beautiful. Okay. She's showing it to you now. Okay, so the butterflies are from the, um, these, I actually printed out these from the digital, um, spread your wings. And this, in case you haven't gotten these yet, this is actually the freebie on our website. So this is a free digital. So, oh, we had a good time. We had a good time as usual. Um. We had such a good time on Saturday creating. And so whatever what I made from Saturday, we did the um 
We did the paper, the paper bead flowers. Uh, let's see, I'm here because I was sending them out. I sent some, some of y'all are going to get some of these in paper, huh? But I did. Don Connor says, funky doodles. How have I, I not heard of this? This on Saturday? Did I announce this on Saturday? I think you did. And I think Bill Bill sent out email blasts too. So this is actually digital also. I just put the and link in. How many is in that, that collection? How many uh, pages in that collection? I think you, it's look 22. At it's 22 How digital cute. files. So we made, this is the one we made. And then we, <laughs> it was so funny on Saturday because we were like, as I was rolling these, they look like toilet paper. And they I'm look already, like mini toilet papers. I, I thought it was just hilarious. Okay. I've already taken 10% off the price. So Hi, let's DFC. see what we got here. I'm going to just kind of cut off. Ava Lee. I'm going to cut this off right here. The GG in here. Oh, you missed it. Okay, Dawn said she missed it. That's okay. You can go back and watch the replay. Toilet paper embellishments. <laughs> yes, that sounds much more fancier. Okay. <laughs> ah. Yeah, we had a good time. We were... We were singing and just carrying on. You know how we do. You know how we do. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to, just cutting off the white strips on this one because I do want to use this. And let's see. So sometimes you don't have to color in everything, right? When you're doing like black, if you decide to do like black and white cards, you do not have to color in everything. So like for this one here, five and a half, four and a quarter. Let's just come down to the five. Oh, well, this is this. this is five this. and three and... Uh, three and, and three quarters. Three and three quarters. So, you know, you just randomly cut this out, you know? Go ahead, babe. This has a beautiful thought here. Ali Moore said, I just wanted to say that my sister-in-law texted me and asked me if I would send a card to a girlfriend who was battling cancer for the second time. You don't know how that made me feel. Oh, wow. You know, but someone recognized the, the power of your gift. Yep, because your gift is powerful. If I could just have I you may think a car. you may think of it as something that's like, you know, but they got just, cars at the store. If I could just have Eileen, mm -hmm. nothing like the handmade, card. nothing like a unique handmade card. But don't you got Hallmark? I, if I could just have Eileen send a card, you know what I'm saying? And just so proud, you know, my sister made this card, you know, just, yep. Impact, y'all, impact. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So look how cutting it away from this, this is fun to cut into because you can kind of see, um, you can I, see how it's, look. you can see how it's going to look already. Look at that. I it's kind of like a random cuttings and you can just. That sheet have is have a bunch of these and just kind of cut them out. Hi, Lily McGee. Uh, five. I'm cutting these down to five by three and three quarters. See how many I can get out of that. I can create black and white stationery out of this. Five. When the bill says the handmade cards touches the hearts. Yes, it does. That black and white is incredible because by the time you put anything of color on it, it's going to just come to life. Well, even if I didn't, I decided not to put color on it. It's going to look really nice. Like you don't even have to color if you don't want to. 
or if you put a border around it, you can put like uh, like how Bill has on the website. It's like a pink border around it. Did I cut that already? Let's see. Four, oh, five and a quarter. Just cutting this a little bit larger. Five and a quarter. So you see how that just has different, like a pile of rocks. Hey, Roy, Royati J, I thought you had a question. I was waiting for it. Yeah, that black and white is very, very classic. This is a, just a little bit larger than those other ones. Exactly, Amy Cave. Amy says a single color sentiment on the front would really pop. Like anything of color. I can see y'all with the ideas already, okay? <laughs> Love it. Hi, Bobby Thompson. Ooh, look at this side right here. See, that has some circles in there. Sonny Chris says, Tracy, you can use those strips to make a tassel, perhaps, for what you're making. Oh, that's a good idea, too, yeah. Five. Okay. Talking to myself here. Well, here's where Yachty J's question. Four. Let me let you, let me let you get the mentions first. You go ahead. Okay, where Yachty J says, Tracy, what is your favorite glue? Is it your art glitter glue or the barely art glitter glue she just bought? So which uh, one you like for paper because the glitter glue you use use our glitter glue the most? If I didn't have our glitter glue, then I would do the barely art. But I have so much of the art glitter glue. But barely art works just about the same. The difference is that you can actually. Um, I like the fact you can ship it all year round. Let's see, I mean, in, in all honesty, Royati. Um, I've looked at the specs on both of them, and they're almost literally identical, except for the fact that, like Tracy was saying, barely art glitter glue, you can ship it in extremely cold, cold temperatures. Barely art? Yeah, barely. The barely. barely glitter, barely glue, barely art glue. What is it? Yeah, the barely. <laughs> the barely glue. <laughs> right, whereas art glitter glue, if it's if it's lowered, and they don't recommend shipping it in under 40 degrees. Yeah. And I, I like that art glitter glue dries extremely fast. It dries pretty fast. Like Amy says, barely art takes a little longer to dry, so you have a bit more wiggle room, which is the other side of what you just said, I would say. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is going to be pretty on, let's see, five. And a half, like right here. Okay. Willie said, McGee said, that paper would be great for the one page wonder kits I made to prepare for my champagne prep. Oh, wow. That sounds interesting. Hi, Tanisha. I must have missed you the other day because I kept saying your name. I said, Sonia Creel, and scared to nature away. So look at that. If you decided you wanted to put, make something like this, right? Hold on one minute. I'm going to do an even larger one. Yes, Sonia Creel. Uh, Donna Sally's put the link. And at the top of the chat, I also put the link to that Funky Doodle digital collection paper. There's a six by six. So I'm going to come like right here. Thank you, Donna. Donna just put the link again. Six by six. I'm going to go a little bit further in than just a six by six there. I've been liking the six by six cards, y'all. Can y'all believe it? You know? What? Hi, Ann look Ryan. At, look at that already. Look how that changes the trajectory. I'm going to glue that down because I kind of want that to stay on there. <laughs> Look how that just changes up a little bit there. 
And if you wanted, you can add some color to this. Now you can take your, um, you can take your, your uh, markers and add some color to it if you wanted to. If you said I need a little bit of green in there or some pink or whatever, you can you can go ahead and do that. Amy K says I love the six by six because they really make a statement. Yeah, whichever you know. Whatever you're up, you know, whatever you think, you know, just go ahead and do it, you know? Um, don't forget the don't forget the uh, Mother's Day um cascading card, stadium card, whatever you call it. The video, the tutorial is up, y'all. It's up. Hi, Jasmine. See that? Okay, so that is up. Tutorial. I think this is the one I did the tutorial on. Yeah, so this is the one from the tutorial. So if you have not tried that stadium wave, many of you said you're going to try it. Ooh, it's, it can be very, very addicting, y'all. And I was just thinking about another way to do this and another way to decorate it. So, so is that funky paper? Is it done on your white Nina cardstock? Yes. Yep. It sure is. Look how look how cute that looks though. It makes a statement very quickly. Well, Tracy, Amy Cave says, uh she saw it, but she kept missing how far you need to overlay the stadium part to make all nine fit. All half nine. an inch. Half an inch. So when I measured it. Uh, let's see. When I measured it, I used this little grid right here, this little inch mark. So you just overlay it by half an inch. Okay. When you overlay that, you're just overlaying it by half an inch on there. And I was thinking of another design for this. So I'll be sharing that soon too. Once you make it once, it's like, ooh, you could do this. Or you could do, you'll find yourself wanting to do more stuff. So half an inch. You'll see me taking you through the steps in the video. So that, that little strip is an inch wide. So you just want to overlay it by half an inch once you get it folded. So let's see. See what we want to do here. Okay. Oh, let me get some uh, hard stuff from in here. So all of this depends on what color you want to put this against. Uh, we just want to show you what it looks like when you put it up against certain colors. Now, Riyati, you know I had to write your name backwards to see. Riyati had said that. Riyati J is her business name backwards. Oh. So I had to write it out to look at it. <laughs> wow. I thought, you know what? I thought it said royalty at first. I thought it said royalty. She says, you can go with that. <laughs> When I first <clears throat> looked at it, I thought it said royalty. Hi, Monty. Monty Matthews. Look how pretty back. that looks already. You see how you could make your own stationery uh, if you want to do a very simple card without having a whole bunch of stuff going on on it. I need more since Tracy. I saw this tutorial for the Cascade card. It was awesome. Oh, thank you. I tried to break it down as simple as possible, and I didn't want to skip steps. Amy says, so, I just... That's what it looks like with the red. She says, I just thought of how you were opening the card from the back, and it made me think that the fold should be on the bottom. You can put the fold wherever you want. So you're saying that it should be like this, the fold being on the bottom and going like this? Is that what you're saying? So this is the folded part here. You're thinking the fold should be there? And you decorate this side? Maybe. Is that what you're thinking? Tariah. 
Taraya. Thank you, Anne. I appreciate that. She said I did a good job. I, I tried it, like, learn it enough. Like, if I could wing it, then I will. But something like that, I really need y'all to get it. So I, I want to make sure I do justice with that card. Okay, so like this right here, I can add like another layer. Let's see? Add like a little black layer. I usually have black uh, pieces of paper that I can use on here, but hmm, I guess not. Usually have extras. Must have used up all my black scraps. And I'm about to create more. Creating more. And Ryan says she loves that paper. Oh, I can't wait to see what y'all create with it. So you see this? So I'm layering it in the black. And then I'm putting it up against this. So just adding that little bit of that black layer around it really works. Let me try this one right here because I want y'all to see what these different variations look like. So what if I had this here and then I decided to do another black layer. I'm going to glue everything down. For I got to remember my measurements, y'all. There's another black scrap. <laughs> Carmina, coffee. Oh, that's not going to work. That one is a little bit too small, but I'll use that for something else. Let's see. Norma, tell Preston I said hello. Hey, Preston. Hi, Norma. Norma said, what about me? Okay, Norma, hi. <laughs> You're supposed to say it with vigor in your voice. Preston's the man, okay? <laughs> see. Oh, 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 okay. Did someone say? Let's see. Whenever you say ooh like that, I feel like you've had a revelation. Ideas popping, okay? Ideas are coming to life, okay? Oh, that's my, I thought I silenced my phone. Huh. Sorry, y'all. Monty, so many people are telling you hello. You might as well just, you might as well just say hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, Preston's on the front porch. His favorite place. Hey, Preston. Gigi says, I just purchased the Funky Doodle paper collection. I just see so many opportunities. So to use many. It. Oh my goodness. It's just, it, it's, yeah, it's very, um, y'all are going to have fun with this. Y'all are going to have so much fun with this. Oh, Bariati says, Trey said, what on your page? Your picture is beautiful. Which page? All of them. I got so many pages. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby said, Thompson says, I'm beginning to think I need to change my mind from flowers and butterflies. I love the doodles. The doodles are so cute. And the fact that you can color these in too, if you want to add some color, you can. All right. All right, Norma. You have that option. Kamina has said it. Just go and tell Preston the entire group says in a thunderous voice, Hello, Preston. You are the man. Preston Bill, like, I know I'm the man, okay? <laughs> but thanks for re recognizing that. Mm -hmm. So, okay, Gaetan, how's the weather up there in Canada? I like the little circles in that corner there. I'm loving those circles. See, now if that's if you wanted to put it against the red, you could. Just to show y'all what it looked like. 
I run the Stop doing black and white today, okay? Rhonda Higgins. Rhonda! Rhonda, I love looking at your, when you post pictures of your grandbabies, they look so happy. Oh my goodness. They look just so happy. Full of joy. It's because they are. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to remember all the, the memories and, and the fun. It says it's a sunny 49 degrees Fahrenheit. Woo! <laughs> I actually thumbs up myself, guys. Patricia says, Trace, I enjoyed your tutorial. I couldn't be available for Saturdays, but I popped in for a few moments. I'm glad you did so I could learn. I love the doodle images also. I'm glad y'all liked it. So this is one of those cards. This side, but either way, you turn it this way, you know. So it's it's just up to you how you want that card to be. And these can be thank you cards. I mean, they could just about be whatever you want, which is nice. So you can it can be a birthday card, thank you card. Well wishes, whichever one. I mean, it says when she makes coffee, she adds a half a stick of cinnamon and it comes out so good. Hmm. I never thought about that. Cinnamon coffee. Cinnamon and coffee. Huh. I love this. So if you wanted to and not have a border on it, you can you can you don't have to have that black border if you don't want to. It's just up to you. But I kind of like the black border on it. I love that image right there. So this is what it looks like. Put it on the white. Look at that. Or you could turn it this way. So you could do whatever you want with that one. And let's see, you know what? I just had an idea. I just got an idea, y'all. Y'all gonna make me have to try some cinnamon and some coffee now. Oh, everybody's been trying cinnamon and coffee? Quite a few people. Oh. Cinnamon and coffee? I would have never. Oh. Hi, Barbara Lane. Bottle clogged up. Hey, Barbara. Oh, teen boy cards. That's a good idea. Yes. That is a great idea. That'd be different for me because I'm such a purist. If I'm going to get coffee, I generally have the thought of coffee in my mind. Even when I go to places like Starbucks, usually only with Chelsea or somebody. Out of all those coffees, I always ask, just give me plain coffee. That's what I want. And Chelsea gets like Chai Kai Sai Tai <laughs> Rapper Lai coffee. Look, remember know? when she took us to that place um, to get that bubble tea? Oh, I couldn't stand it. Let, let me, how many of y'all love bubble tea? I that bubble tea, I was just like, I. So she bought me one and I was like, I hope you didn't pay a whole lot for this. She loves her and Manny loves some bubble tea. I was like, I cannot drink. I this. was like, oof, this is not not my cup of tea, okay? <laughs> not my cup of tea. So you could put something here. Right? Zell Storm says she had so much stuff to her first cup of coffee. It may not even be considered coffee anymore. Mm. <laughs> Hi, Gene Johnson. Crazy for bananas says she loves bubble tea. Yeah, really? How about you, Ann Ryan? Stephanie Brown loves it. Y'all love that bubble tea, huh? Ali Moore says she has three weddings to make very soon, and I think that black and white paper would be perfect. Ooh. The elegance, right? 
And then you could add whatever you want to it. Like if I wanted to put this down here in the corner and just put like just a note, you can do that too. So you can add this on here too. Let me just, uh, let me cut this one down a little bit more. Rhonda Higgins, this sounds like something Chelsea would offer. What, what, what order? Rhonda Higgins is talking about a caramel ma macchiato <laughs> soy extra foam, no whip, double shot. That don't that sound like something Chelsea would be, say. Yep, y'all be having your um. Sounds like talking about a foreign language. And we only went because we were in D.C. Normally, we're not Starbucks, you know, we're not like that kind of crowd, you know. Macchiato, such and such. Humpty <laughs> Dumpty, off the wall, tea, <laughs> coffee. Pumpkin spice latte. Uh, so a lot of people out here like that bubble tea, huh? Joanne I was says, like, no, thank you. I had it one time. I had it, and it was like stuff was like. It felt like something was like in my throat. Felt like slime. Didn't it? I like my stuff to be smooth. What is the what are the bubbles made out of? That's what I want to know. Don't tell me. I just want to know what are the bubbles made made out of. We'll see what they say. <laughs> I love poet. She was like, "Mom, you got to try this." Mm. Barbara Link says she loves your new car tutorial. She's going to make one for her mom, for my mother's Oh, name. that's going to be a winner right there. I have Someone said that they were going to make one for all of their... That's going to be their signature uh, card. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm happy that y'all uh, like the card and that y'all are going to make them. Hi, Michelle Harris. Oh, the Andre White says, it seems like forever ago that we were together. I missed y'all. We were just on, what, Saturday? Saturday. It does seem like a long time, doesn't that it? That still know. seems like a long time. <laughs> Ooh, look at this one, y'all. Ooh, I'm cutting this one up. What am I saving it for? I'm cutting that one up, too. Oh, man. Rhonda said she was a barista at Starbucks. She can make every kind of drink. Oh, nice. So she may be a coffee snob. <laughs> Did they say what the um those things are made out of? The bubbles in the bubble tea? No, I want a Grey Poupon tea. <laughs> bubble tea, bubble tea. <laughs> Zell Storm says, I've been needing to make coffee for over half an hour. I'll be right back. Oh, no, I'm taking my tablet with me to the kitchen. <laughs> uh, Y'all are just too funny, okay? Bubble tea. It's for me. Oh, okay, Amy Cave says it's tapioca. Oh, okay. I don't like tapioca. No wonder <laughs> I don't like it. I do not like tapioca. I was tapioca. just like... My mother for years tried to give me to eat She that. was so excited for me to try that bubble tea. I was like, I am not eating this. That was my first and last time having it. I was like, what is these? Fish oh, eggs? I, I didn't something? do my measurements right on that one, did I? Is it what? Fish eggs. That's what tapioca looks like. <laughs> you say Rhonda Higgins fruit. says it's uncooked alien babies. <laughs> Bubble tea. <is. laughs> I, I could believe that. That bubble tea. Ooh, look how cute that looks. So once you cut it down, you really see, like, each one is going to be unique once you cut them all down. So none of them will be the same. I think Monty is a, is a bubble tea drinker. This will make a nice journal cover, too. Monty's like, don't even invoke my name with this. <laughs> hey, Monty. We actually got to speak after, was it after Saturday's Live when we spoke yeah. to Steve? Steve from uh, Blue Magic. We got to speak to him. I hope he, if he performs down here, we need to go, babe. He says he's so busy doing all kind of stuff that's coming up. Which is a good thing. Right. So, yeah, he's one of the members of our favorite group. Well, definitely one of them. Blue Magic. Yep, so. Hopefully he'll get down here to Georgia and we could go see him perform, babe. He might call you up on stage with him. Well, you, uh, <laughs> give me the mic. What's wrong with my mind? 
What's come over me? I could never. <laughs> Wearing a smile, dimple on the side. What's come? I'm singing in a deeper voice, aren't I? I don't know. What's come over me? Bill, you try not to comment on my voice. What? My circle song voice. <laughs> What's come over me? You know what? You ever get you guys ever get hot and then time you get hot, you, like you put the air on. Don't tell women. Then that. you get cold. Do not tell women that. Then okay. You get hot and you're like, what's wrong with Welcome you? to our world. Monty, I feel like I've made a folio before. Monty, I still don't know what Boba I'm not is. even sure, Patricia. There's over a thousand and something videos on here. Surely one of them is a, a folio. I, I'll i add that to my um, my list, Patricia. Tracy, have you ever made a folio? I think I can do a folio, right? I, think, I feel like I have done one, but I'm just not sure. Did I do a recipe folio at one point? You probably did. Hmm. You made so much stuff you can't even remember anymore. So Barbara Lake, are you all unpacked yet? Or do you still have a lot of stuff in boxes in your in your new home? A lot of us will move places and it may be a year before we finish getting stuff out of boxes. May change. But the shape's the same. It's round, so it must be a circle. That's going to be nice, that little slab of paper. This little strip, right? On something. Y'all, do you see that? I need more just Tracy. You did do it. It was a couple of years ago. What, was it a um some kind of wait a minute, it was a recipe book. Bill, get me that recipe book right there. That right was my sample from from the video. You see the the green bow okay. right there. Yeah. Was it the recipe? Hey y'all! Before she said the green bow, Tracy said, "Get my recipe book right, right there, there with about twenty books." But here. imagine I knew where it was though. Well, the green bow made it happen. What makes it a folio, though, right? Uh, this right here. This right here. It was a recipe kind of folio book, I think. Thanks, love poet for you. It's our newest digital, that black and white. But does this, is this considered a folio? Well, it is now. Right. This was my sample one from. Amy, I've done plenty of moves like that. She, Amy says her mom would pack to move by just throwing things in available trash bags and boxes. Mm. But by the time we got to the new house, it was all put away in a day. That's what the back looks like. Right, so I did a, uh, this, this is actually a, um, this is a tutorial. Hold on. It never fails. Beanie right. Freak says, so, I'm always doing nothing, absolutely nothing, and all alone before the live. And, and as then soon all of a sudden, <laughs> as you come on, everybody needs something. It never fails. That part, right? You need to get a sign and have it made. And whenever they come anywhere near you, hold up the sign. The sign will say, it, it, you're fired. So I guess I did do a folio. Okay. Jean Johnson. Jean says, seven years in a home. And she 
still has boxes that haven't been unpacked. Mm. Gee, you better get to those boxes. You might have a thousand dollars in one of them. <laughs> Gene said, and it would have been unpacked. Okay. A thousand dollar certificate that expires the day after you open the box, the day mm. before you open the box. Monty says, Bill, I'm learning about crafting with Tracy and I'm learning about bubble stuff from me. Bubble tea. <laughs> Keep the teaching going. <sighs> Especially you, Tracy. Monty, I'm so finished. Monty, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> you see how easy these are coming together? Okay. This, this is one of those examples of let the paper do the work, right? This is cute. And even if you do it this way. That is nice. Tracy, Rhonda Higgins says, does your mom like acrylic and cotton yarn? I don't know. My mother will use whatever comes through her door. <laughs> she actually said that before. I'm going to say on mom's behalf, I'm going to say yes. Yeah. Upside down, guess what? It's not. Because it could go this way, this way. <laughs> That's cute. Aunt Terry says, 20 years in this house, and I can't believe the stuff we're packing. That's because your husband probably had stuff he was holding on to before y'all got married. You know, the single guy stuff like an old moose head or something. You know what I mean? Talking about, let's hang this in the living room. You were like, you don't get this ugly moose head. <laughs> And you hid it for 20 years and now it's resurfaced. <laughs> like like blue pants or something. something what like are you that. trying to say? You know, like some blue pants bringing them things into the house. <sighs> Wherever you are, wherever Let's hang oh, this you in know the what? bedroom I... over the bed. I did not think so. I'm not going to be looking at up every night at this moose head. Dear. Or, or the blue pants. <laughs> Which one do you rather? <sighs> <laughs> Pick your uh your 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 battles, right? Amy's is moving is such a good time to purge. If you still have stuff in boxes after some years, just don't even open them up. Just I remember we had so many cassettes and didn't have no player, nothing. I don't like doing. I like taking them to um Goodwill. Yeah. Rebecca says, Trace, are you gonna put a pop of color on those beautiful backgrounds? Um, you can. I thought I had silenced my phone. What on earth? They're fired. Sorry, y'all. Let's see. There we go. Now. Do not disturb. Don <laughs> Connor says, I'm the rat pack. I'm a pack rat, not the rat pack. I'm the, a pack rat. Sentimental saving stuff. Me too. Oh, comely. No, oh, comely. When I saw that, you know, I immediately thought, oh, come, let us adore you. That's what initially came to my mind. But oh, comely says, my surprise, they didn't grossly crunch. Oh, she's talking about the bubble tea. But I don't know how with each sip, at least one or two got into you, your mouth. And it unquenches my thirst. Mm. Exactly, stops it up. Like, oh, I, I ain't thirsty no more. Okay. The reason why I'm using these butterflies is because they have the, that thick, like, you know, that thickness on them. You know, this looks like wood grain right here. And then you just have a little butterfly that just, it's got that thick black line which goes along with this. Hi, Crystal.
Hey, Crystal. I have some black gems over here. Let's see. I have some black. Little black, yep. Little black gems. Make your quill fall in the sleeve at the wheel. Here we go with the humming. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm singing Christmas songs, y'all. Exactly, Monty. I just, oh, how'd that pink gem get in there? Don't know. Pink gem. You're not supposed to be in there. No sanitary. I'm not ready for you right now, pink gem. <sighs> Let's see what we got. Gigi said, I'm loving this paper. You will see printing it out, Gigi. Wait till you print it out. Oh, my goodness. You're going to be like, what? This used to be so fun for me to create, like, you know, in my notebook as a kid. So I'm glad that I was able to make a paper that... Um, that has to do with doodling because that was one of the things I love doing. You know, it's a good, like, to me, it's like art meditation. If that's even a thing, you know? Meditating through art. Meditate. Creative meditation. I'm using exactly, too, Monty. Too much glue on here. Monty says, look, all I know is if a moose head is hanging on the wall, starts talking to me, the house and everything the house belongs to, it belongs to that moose head now. <laughs> Exactly. Ah. So that's what it would look like if you put a spark of color on here. You can have butterflies coming straight down. You could have them going like diagonally. Since this is digital, you could actually have them, you can make them even smaller if you want. Just a pop of color. Michelle Harris says it reminds her of Zentangle. This one says art meditation. That's a class, so it should be. Art meditation. Amy says trail them from large to small. Oh, that would be so cute. Yes. Oh. It would be, actually. The large one, the small one. Like a whole family of butterflies. Hold up. Tracy Sonia Creel says it's official. You, yes, you, Tracy, have ruined me. Why in the world was I singing, looking for the song on YouTube? Which one? Music, It's a Circle. Oh. <laughs> Someone help me, please. That's all right. Nothing wrong with singing a little kid song. Because it's a circle. Hmm. It's a circle. Round and round it goes. It's a circle. It's a circle. It's a circle. Round and round it goes. It's red. Red. It's blue. Blue. It's green and yellow too. Yellow too. It's black. Black. It's white. White. It's brown and orange and blue. The colors may change, but the shape's the same. It's round, so it must be a circle. What did Norma say? Norma said, I donate quite a bit of stuff to a mission that has homes for men and women for them to better their life. That's a good idea. Amy, you know what? I always kind of thought that. Amy says Zentangle is just a fancy made up Grey Poupon word for doodling. <laughs> okay? It's Zentangle, okay? <laughs> Z 
Zell says, Zentangle is a little too. more than just doodling God. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a thing to it. I, I um, Someone taught a class, and I thought it was really interesting. And I was like, that that would be something I would do, because I love I love doing, um, I love doodling. Like Bill found something in my nightstand drawer. I don't know what he was doing in my nightstand but, drawer. You know, okay, first, that first of all, what were you doing in my nightstand the drawer? The drawer was open. Okay. And I looked down. It was not open. It. He saw my little artwork that I would do just to do my little meditation. It was so incredible. Before bedtime. I was speechless. Mm. It was just doodling on a sheet of just. Oh, well, it's like Chelsea's um, artwork, I... which is much more intricate. But um, when when she she had done this art piece when she was in college, and it was just incredible. It was called. It's supposed to be called pretty and ugly, like you know. It was something like that. So it was a piece that they had to do, and they had to make it pretty by it looking ugly as well. No, that I, thing is so big. I don't even know if I can get it. Down. I remember the one she did, and it's black and white. Oh, yeah, yeah. She did one for this guy. She was one of her friends, and and the whole thing was to make it out of sushi. Everything, the she entire to, picture. Right. She had to design a sushi person, and she drew this guy's face. And oh my God, it looked like it looks. It, it looked, looked like sushi, but it, it looked, looked like exactly a, like the guy. A bunch of sushis, <laughs> and I'm telling you, it's one of the most awesome things I'd ever seen. And she gave it to him. I was so mad. I was like, "Never get that dude. You need to keep this one. <laughs> that thing was bad." She had some really interesting. I think you lost it. Like, like it was nothing. Careful. Let's see. It, now it's pretty big, y'all. So I'm I'm gonna show you. See if I can show you part of this. Um, I'll show it. I'll just kind of see if I can show this to you. So this this hangs up in my on my wall. So this is this is Chelsea's um, artwork, and it's just amazing. If you were to really see this, she did this in college. And I just thought it was incredible. Let's see. That's good. I'm just trying to show without the glare on it. It doesn't have one. I'm looking at it right here. And it, she had to have it. Um, it was called. I think she she may have used um, some some of these markers. What are my favorite? Uh, no, not the markers. Copics. No, she not not the markers. She used it. The, she used the micron pen and created like all of this so it looks like almost like planets and stuff right. and then look at this beautiful piece over here you know so it was just some incredible the way she did this yep it was just incredible and that was one of her art pieces in uh she had a whole art uh, she had a whole exhibition, you know, at one time. Yes, very abstract. I When I saw it, I was just like, oh my goodness. So this is one of her pieces that she did in college. Um, she did, she did a, a bunch of, she did a bunch of stuff too. And I was like, whoa, Chelsea. You know what? Thank you, everyone. You know what they're saying? The reason I was in your nightstand is because I was looking for my blue pants. <laughs> so you know, Norma Watson. <laughs> and you wasn't going to find Greg it there. Jane are both fired. Y'all okay? are too funny, okay? They're both fired. He was looking for his. <laughs> exactly, Zell. Thank you. You know what? Zell understands me. Zell what does Zell says, say? That my blue pants were probably not that bad. Those are my Steve Harvey specials, okay? Mm -mm. Those pants were back in style. Those things were pretty bad. If they ever left. They probably stayed uh, hid in some countries, somewhere on Earth. Uh, mm, somewhere on Earth. <laughs> somewhere deep in Meanwhile, the hills. Meanwhile, somewhere on Earth. 
Rebecca said, the reason I never found them is because you confiscated them. <laughs> that was hilarious, though. Rebecca's answer, I was fired a long time ago. I hired you back. You didn't know, okay? But then I fired you again. Rebecca, you hear that? You are not fired, okay? Let me just go ahead and say that she is not fired, babe. Hi, Sarah. She can stay for as long as she wants. Sarah Johnson says, don't forget to coordinate and shoes. I had black <laughs> shoes, Sarah. Look, Matthew's birthday um, was yesterday. Matthew was sharp as a tag, wasn't he? Matthew's birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday, Matthew. Sharpen. Matthew is a hoot. Every time <laughs> in the suit that Sarah picked Matthew, out for him, I'm sure. Matthew and Sarah are so funny. Y'all have my belly hurting. For y'all don't know, we went to DC and Sarah and her husband Matthew came to pick us up. And we had such a good time. Yeah, we had such a good time. It was so funny though. Like just being in their space, it was almost like well, y'all saw the video. We were, we were cracking up and just have even before then we were having a good time. They took us out to dinner, and then I got to we got to play in Sarah's gorgeous uh, craft room. But we just had I mean, her and her husband are just so just such a welcoming, just a lovely couple to be around. But just so fun. It was just like being with old friends. It was just it was funny. Okay. It's just like how we are on here, you know, times 10. It was just, it was hilarious. We had a good time. I mean, Bill Bill was cutting up. <laughs> Bill, it was Bill. <laughs> right. Sarah, Bill was, look. I'm telling you, they Bill never been to Sarah's house. I can't take him nowhere. <laughs> Bill was on the floor. Her man. <laughs> that was Matthew. Him and Matthew were like on the floor. <laughs> How are you going to go to someone's house and laugh so much until you're laying on the floor? That kind of laughter, okay? <laughs> oh, my goodness. They were cutting up, weren't they, <laughs> Sarah? <sighs> That's why I tell y'all, we ever got to be together, they're they going to throw us out of whatever venue that we're at. They're going to throw us out. They're not going to throw. They're going to throw us out, okay? Let me be clear. There's they're a gonna, difference. They're gonna <laughs> There's one thing to throw someone out, but when you throw somebody out, that's just a whole that's nother. That's T-H-O-W. <laughs> we're going to throw you out. We're throwing you out. Mm -hmm. That's a different level, Okay. <laughs> <sighs> yes, uh, May 26 is me, my birthday. Bill's birthday. Birthday. Rebecca says, T-H-O-W, add it to the dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing it out. Ah. <laughs> uh. I can't let y'all get in the same room with the Quilted Marine. That would be hilarious. Okay, this. Three is the charm on here, right? Gaitan yeah. says, Tracy, did you draw all those papers? No, uh-uh, nope. Nope. That would be just too much trying to draw all of these. Have you ever heard of a program called Procreate? Gay 10? Rhonda Barlow, how you doing? Well, where are my cutter bee scissors? They're probably right in front of me and I don't see them. Well, here they are. Here's here this are. part. That, that'll help, Bill. <laughs> that would help. I'm going to go downstairs. 
Okay. Let's go out. I shall return. Where's the dog at? Downstairs somewhere. It's probably by the door, the window. The window door, the back. I see her right here. Oh, which one? You talk about the big dog. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, Joanne Gilbertson's birthday is next Saturday. Yes, I am, Linda. Somewhat black and white cards. Here's one with the uh, pink butterfly on it. This little spark of color. That's what it looks like. So that one's drying. I haven't added a sentiment to it yet. Zal, you finally got your coffee? I haven't had my coffee yet today. Haven't had mine yet. Okay, 10, you see I'm leaving the antenna on these. Okay, 10. <laughs> Oh, oh, the boys, uh, it's prom. That's right. This is prom season. My boys prom is this uh, Saturday. Only one of the twins is going though. Uh-oh. Does the other one not want to go too? I remember when Chelsea went to her prom, at one point she didn't want to go. And then as it got closer, uh, then she wanted to go. Oh, he doesn't want to go? Okay, gotcha. He doesn't want to do the whole dressing up and... Man, people have gotten really fancy with, with some of the... Um, when I seen some of the uh, prom dresses and stuff. It was like, ooh, it's a whole thing. I know when when um when when my girls were in high school, you know, just shopping for a dress and stuff, it was like, whoa, this is I mean, some people having them specially made and there's a whole uh what do you call it? Like uh like a whole asking someone to go to the prom, almost like an engagement. I was like, wow. Oh, Ava Lee, you follow the quilting meme, the qu quilting meme, <laughs> quilting marine before you knew. Oh, before you knew that we were all related. Really? Wow. He's my brother-in-law, but I call him my brother. I could pick up the phone right now and, you know, and he'll, you know, he's just as wonderful. We spoke to them yesterday, him and my sister. It's truly a blessing to have uh, a brother like him. And so I, yeah, we've known each other for like years. <laughs> I feel like this part right here needs some white stitching on it. Look how cute that looks. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. He he's he's awesome. Just a wonderful human being, very inspiring. 
And now he's even more cooler now that he's watching the Gilded Age. <laughs> he's going to get me for ratting him out like that. He's watching the Gilded Age and Bridgerton. He said he told me he would never watch something like that. Please. He watched that Gilded Age. I said, just watch one episode. And boy, he was like, oh, my goodness. He was like the costumes and the tea party. He wants to have, he wants to have a tea party, a Gilded Age or, or Bridgerton tea party or something, costumes and all. He he was he's serious, okay. He is serious. Look how look how beautiful but simple that looks. I'm going to I haven't stitched in a while, so I'm going to add stitching to this one. Hey, Strawberry. She came running up the stairs. Okay. Okay. How cute that looks. Me too. Me too. Royati, I love me. I love some butterflies. If you followed me for a while, uh, Tracy is Procreate um, program free. No, this is a this this is on my iPad. It's up. <clears throat> it's on my iPad. The program. So I've been learning. Um, I've had the I I've had the iPad for a while, but never really sat down to start learning all the things it can do. So that's what I've been doing. That's my new, you know how you want to level up and learn something new? So Procreate is on is a program on my iPad. Bill uses Adobe. He loves Adobe. He's been using that for years. So any changes I need, he'll make it in Adobe for me. Because there's still certain things where I'm like, Bill, you do this. <laughs> you do it. Yeah, mine came with my, um, it came with my, my iPad. It was already on there. Ooh. Oh, it's a new thing to go stag to your prom. I, you know, I didn't go to my prom, y'all. I didn't. Do I regret it? No. I think my friends were more disappointed I didn't go than, than um, they were more disappointed I wasn't going. They were like, how could you not go to the prom? It's the, do y'all know why I didn't go to my prom? I've talked about it before. <laughs> Just asking, do y'all know why I did not go to the prom? I didn't go because the prom was the same time as the state meet in track and field for New York State. Same weekend. So I had the choice of either going to the state meet or going to my prom. And guess where I was, y'all? 
at the prom. Right at that state meet. Okay. Mm -mm. I worked too hard. <laughs> <laughs> too hard and too long to be up at somebody prom. My friends were more disappointed. They were like, but you, what about the dress and such and such? I'll see y'all at the state meet. <laughs> I put in too many hours of work, getting up, running, miles to miles that were put in, the seasons. Cross country started in the fall. I was running cross country, putting down the foundation. And then come June, around the prom time for us up in New York, was around June. That was the same time, weekend, as the state meet. Nope. Was it worth the sacrifice? It was. <laughs> it was. There you go. It was worth it. So you brought home the gold, huh? Actually, no. That year I didn't. Oh, actually, before, about the real 18. you know what the real 18 did. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I, I didn't. I actually my I, here's what happened. I actually ended up getting injured and I had a I had a hamstring injury. Right. So it was like a it was a tear. And those things can be really. Um, yeah, they could be really bad if you keep running on it. And so. I didn't perform as well as I, I wanted to. I can't remember that. I did run the 400 meters that year and I was actually defending state champion. I had won the state meet in, in 11th grade. So now this is my senior year. I didn't do too well in the 400, although I was defending state champion, but I still went and ran on the four by one. And so they bandaged up the leg. I remember my sister, because my sister ran with me. Yeah. And I was like, I don't, I don't know if I could run. And the whole relay team was looking at me like, Tracy, you won't have to run very hard. We'll, we'll, we'll make sure that you have a lead by the time you get the baton. So here I am laying on the, um, on the table to get treated for my hamstring injury. And so here I have my three other teammates and one of them being my sister who was also on that real a team saying tracy don't worry we'll get the baton to you because i was running the third leg they were like you won't have to run too hard y'all so did your favorite y'all <laughs> did it work out like that nope so they guilted me into running, right? I said, okay, because we would have had to, um, I think we would have had to drop out of it because we made it to the final. So what had happened was I told him, go ahead and wrap up the leg. I'm going to go ahead and run. You know, we're not going to scratch. Guess what happened, y'all? Now y'all know that four by the four by one is a fast race. You can't have any errors and you have to run at top speed. So four by one, does that mean one time around? Or? Four, four, four people run 100 meters, basically. Okay. I told them to wrap the leg up. You know, we iced it, wrapped it up, did whatever we need to do. So what happened? Y'all want to know what happened? <laughs> you keep saying, guess what happened? Wait, wait. I'm, I'm interacting with them, Bill. But you got me on, my, on the edge of my seat. You have heard this story. But before. I haven't heard it like this. <laughs> <sighs> That's painful. Yeah, Royati. And But when you have your team, you know, for the team, you know, we came so far, breaking every kind of record and... Begging tears in Now we're eyes. at the last meet of the year and here I am with this injury so my sister because she was the fastest uh, 100 meter person uh, she ended up running the anchor leg so I have to pass 
to her, right? So I'm the third leg. She's the anchor leg. This is the quilting Marine's wife, my sister, Yvonne. So the first two legs. Now, you know, they made the promise to me, right? Tracy, just go ahead and run. You know, we'll be okay. I promise we'll have a lead when we get it. And there was this other team, y'all, that was so, what do you call it? The they were like, phenomenal. they had a reputation for being like the ultimate team. Like we don't, yes. we don't lose the four by one. This was there. These were the city girls in New York. We don't lose. Like we don't. It's this to you is, country bumpkins. To y'all uh, Long Islanders, right? And so, first two legs didn't run as expected. <laughs> And just seeing that other team being so boastful and like, yeah, we got this. Y'all might as well give us the, the uh, we might as well go ahead and hand out the medals now. Mm, why they say that, y'all? Don't say that. <laughs> don't, don't say that. So by the time I got the baton, we were not in a very good position. We are, we were not in a really good position. However, all I needed to do was get it to my sister because I knew she was going to fly when she got the baton. So anyway, I ended up running harder than I needed to. Actually, I ended up running harder. Not that I needed to, but I wanted to win. Okay. <laughs> that was my thing. <laughs> Despite the hamstring. And so me and my sister, our baton passes were so seamless. We would practice in the backyard. I mean, because, hey, what else did we have to do? And so it all comes down to the baton pass and, you know, being pretty fast, too. So I had gotten my sister to be in a position to run, like, I mean, just to really, the possibility of winning, okay? Even though she might have been slightly behind. And when I came off that turn, she was either in, when I got the baton, we were like, we were almost last, but when I gave it to my sister, she was almost in the second position. And all I could see is my little sister running down that last straightaway. And from where I was seeing her from the back, I couldn't tell whether she had come in first or second, the see, other team, had she won. Shot whether out we had one or the other team. She ran that thing down. She took that baton from my hand. And when I tell you, she ran like, crazy down that so she walks some people down down that straight away she only had to walk the one person down well they got walked okay <laughs> somebody got and walked. she wasn't like it wasn't like she was far behind because i gave it to her it was almost like we both handed off at the same time y'all know that girl just completely completely what she ran him down my sister ran that girl down okay and we ended up winning the state championship in the four by one. So did you do the long jump that year? Um, that's a good question. I cannot remember, Bill. I cannot remember. So the reason I asked that y'all because it's eleventh grade. Tracy eleventh won, grade, I she was. She won the state title in the quarter and the long jump. Did y'all win the right win the relay too? Um, we didn't do we didn't run the relay that year. It wasn't until my senior year. 11th grade, I was state champion. 12th grade, I had the injury. The other team was upset because the other team was really, really mad. They almost wanted to fight with us after. I'm like, really, y'all? For what? For losing? It was just bad sportsmanship on their part. They were just really mad. Like, to the point where I thought I was going to have to, like, defend myself. Like, actually get into a fight. Because you were about to spike somebody in the face. And I couldn't so. walk very fast because my leg was, like, now I'm, like, my leg was really sore. So I had to get on the ice soon. But, yeah. Rayati says, took one for the team. And sister did the rest. I took one for the team. <laughs> well, that's kind of what she said. Yeah. we <laughs> and, and we usually, yeah, we, we, we had a winning season, like that whole season. Just the whole team was just rallied up and 
um, couldn't go out like that on my senior year. Now, my sister, however, she was in 11th grade that year when I was a senior. And she actually, her senior year, she became state champion in 200 meters. 200 meters, you have to be fast, okay? I was already in college as a freshman when my coach told me about the results. Because back then, you had to wait for stuff to come out in the newspaper. Oh, yeah. I you that. didn't have, like, results Internet. that were online and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, I had a little bit of speed on me, but I was more of a 400-meter runner. You know what? Remember when you didn't have cell phones, they had the we didn't community have phone that. that was in the hallway. At least when I was in school. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like <laughs> one on one end and one on the other end. Mm, mm, mm. And there was always that one person who wanted to just stay on the phone nonstop. That sounded like that would have been you, man. Not me. I couldn't stand to talk on the phone. Trace, I couldn't. You have to understand. Hold on, let me y'all. I was trained in the house. Okay, we had two phones. There was the house phone, which had this super long cord that went everywhere. <laughs> then there was the other phone, which is in my mother's room. <sighs> and my mother was the type who would like who would get on. If you were on the phone longer than like about three or four minutes, she would pick up the phone and embarrass you. Mm. You know, so you were like, oh, hello, yes, I meet you at the corner. All right, see you. Whatever you're going to say, because I remember one time somebody called my house and it really wasn't that late, but it was dark. It might have been about 8.45 or something. 9 o'clock. It was about 9. She said something like, and what fool is this calling my house mm. after <laughs> 9 o'clock? My mother was one of them types, okay? And I think I was in a level for 12th grade and she said that. Okay? And you, you know I shouldn't what? be laughing. <laughs> and you know I wasn't going to say, what was I supposed to do? Say Your mother was bad? not playing, okay? I couldn't even make a facial expression like I was unhappy that she said that. You Your mother I mean? was not, she did not play. So my thing was get in and off that phone as fast as humanly possible, okay? I am not going to be embarrassed. <laughs> Your mother did school about it. Your mother was not playing. No, not at all. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, don't be tied up my phone. Somebody could need something. I'm like, okay, well, there you go. Ain't nobody call all day, but somebody could need. Holly Morrison, her mother did the same thing. Mm. They were serious about the phone. I don't know what I'm Crystal. doing yet, but I think this would be cute. Crystal says, I want to invite Tracy. Please let him know. Let who know? Oh, the Quilt Marine. We were talking about him watching, wanted to have a um, Bridgerton party. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Crystal, I think we already talked, we already about, talked that. about that. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're in. <laughs> you are in, Chris. That would be fun. That would be fun. Amy says, I was not allowed to give our phone number to friends. I was not allowed to be on the phone unless it was important. Mm. And, and, and to them, it was never important, huh? Did somebody die? I'm talking about the rotary phones, okay? The rotary phones that had the cord attached to them. Not, not no cordless type action, push button and all that. <laughs> we had them bl two black rotary phones. Mm. My mother still has one of those. She has that fancy looking phone. Sonny says, I know we were raised in different places on this earth, but could we possibly be related? Because my grandmother, as well as her daughter, had the same telephone issues. Mm. Woo, Green Line. Ali Moore says, you can not only could you not tie the phone, if she, if she didn't like the person, she would yell out, I need the phone. Mm. And you know what? There was no talking or debating about it. I have to go by and click. There was no explaining to the person on the phone reasons why I have to go by and click. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Even that might be too much. You're about to, to tie it on the phone. And look, don't let her pick up on the other phone, right? Like if she had the phone in her room and there was one in the kitchen. That was it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then that's when you could pick up the line and listen in. Matter of fact, as far as my parents are concerned, if it was after 9 o'clock, it might as well be 1 in the morning. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
It is dark. Who is calling my house after dark? Man, it's only not. I said that to myself. Mm, I bet you did. <laughs> oh, Ray Landy Woody says, I found the Dolly cake mix and icing today. Uh oh. Tracy made the Dolly cake, y'all. Again, right? I'm talking about with the cake mix. Oh, yeah, it was good. It, it, did, was good. it did taste sweet. I like the fact that it, the, the mix wasn't sweet, sweet. Right. And it really played off of the um, the, the ice, icing. Yeah, and the ice cream. Oh, the ice cream was good with it. Right, too. because the cake wasn't overly sweet, it just had a nice balance. Me and Dolly is messing with people. Well, she said hello, Dolly. Crazy bananas. I don't remember that. She says, Does anyone remember having a team line? A who line? What's a team line, crazy for bananas? Team like like a teenager. Oh, a teen line. Oh wow. I don't remember that. Oh my god, Amy. Hold up. Amy says, my mom was also the type to lock you out if you came in late. Mm. Y'all parents were not playing, huh? We did that to my son. Remember that time? He came in late and, and, and I would open the door at the time. And he had to sleep out of his car in the driveway. I didn't care. Oh, okay. Crazy Banana says it's when you have a second line in your house. Oh, my parents wasn't having. My mother wasn't having that. She wanted to be able to get on there and talk and embarrass you. Mm. She could. She would not have a, a single line in the house that she couldn't influence negatively, mm. which, which in her mind was positively. Because <laughs> y'all need to come up off the phone. Don't even be on it. That's how, how she felt. Oh well, there you go. What are you on the phone for? You done seen everybody you need to see already today at school. Mm. <laughs> but she goes to the other school. That's ah, not my concern. <laughs> I don't care. You can see her at church. A church? That's like a week from now. <laughs> I said that to myself, okay? Of course you did. <laughs> Hold up, Rhonda Higgins said a hundred people all talking at once on the team line. Is that how that went? No. No, I didn't get a word in. Donna Connor says she like that now. Don't even call me after nine unless you bleed. You know. <laughs> what? Gigi, your best friend must have been rich. Did you say my best friend had a phone in her bedroom with her own private line? Mm. Oh, she was rich. Oh, yes. She was entitled. She was one of those people on TV from uh, Legally Blonde type. I remember talking to a girl on the, on the phone one time. Okay, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Look. <laughs> Y'all hear my chair? <laughs> Trace, I was in high school. What were you talking about? I was in ninth grade. It don't matter. I mean, you apparently didn't because <laughs> I was on the phone. I went on the phone three minutes. So you're going to continue with the story. I got to say it. I was on the phone about three minutes. Uh -huh. right? I called myself sneaking. Mm -hmm. And I had the phone underneath. I hope your mother whoop your butt. Okay. I, my mother went to sleep and I, I snuck in a room. And, <laughs> and, and I took the phone. And hid it. I put it on her bed. Right? Oh, no, you didn't. So even if she did, it would be hard for her to get it. And then I called <laughs> the girl up. I was on the phone three minutes. All of a sudden, I heard her go, Daddy! Ah! And that's it. By the time I saw her the next day, her dad called her on the phone. With you. Under her covers and snatched the phone out of the, out of the wall. Good. No one told her to be on the phone. Sarah Johnson, you heard that, didn't you? <laughs> Nobody told her to be on the 
Somebody be on the phone with my future husband. <laughs> Jill Palmer says her wedding proposal was ruined because her stepdad was on the other line. Mm. Rebecca, that's exactly what happened. I got the look. You got the look. I got the look with folded arms, okay? With folded arms. Y'all remember Monty, that? you know what I'm saying? He didn't learn from that last one. <laughs> Monty said, I'm so glad you stopped that story. Oh, never mind. You told him <laughs> oh, boy. Only on the live stream. And Look at the impact funny. of these cards without even putting, I haven't even put anything on it yet. Like, no sentiment on these yet. And then you have to ask yourself, do these cards actually require a sentiment? You know what, Andrew? That's exactly it. it Andrew said, we didn't need car waiting uh, because you wouldn't be on the phone long enough to, to miss a call. You know, that's why it was so nice. hard for me to understand call waiting when it came out. Because we were going to be on the phone. Don't worry. Well, we, well, how do you even use something like this? <laughs> <laughs> what is the value of this? Exactly. Ann Ryan says and now everyone has their own mobile phone. Oh, my goodness. Someone got two or three phones, okay? That's true. Ooh, look at that, y'all. You can make a bunch of these. Ooh. Mm. Amy K says, and heaven forbid. And someone was calling your pumping parents or something, and the call was missed while you were on the phone for 30 Woo! seconds. Well, only 30, you were only on the phone for 30 seconds, but that's all it took. I have missed my call. Because you. you. <laughs> Anything after that, you did, it, was, it didn't even matter. Because that's you. All that's matter. all that mattered. Was because you. Okay. All right. I did it. <laughs> ah, what's the punishment? These cards are turning out nice, y'all. Man, Jill Pound said my boyfriend, my current husband, wanted to re-enlist. So my dad, who had picked up the phone, chimed in and said, so does that mean you want to marry my daughter? Mm. Wow. <laughs> well, I was trying to talk to Jill about that, sir. Mm, he ain't going to say that. Sir. He, he, he might not have made it to the real list, but huh? John wasn't going to say that, okay. <laughs> that is, that's funny, okay. So dad just ruined the proposal, huh? I remember that. I didn't want to say, remember you had to make a long distance call. You you had to wait until the operator pick up the other line. We have a collect, we have a so-and-so call for so-and-so. Will you accept? Or will you this? You know what I mean? Mm. This will be cute as some. This will be cute as some stationary like cards. Ooh, my God, this is then came the three way call and you couldn't get it. Oh, my goodness. We thought that we was this in advanced, okay? Completely advanced now. Until, with the three way calling. Until your mother wanted to get in. I'm talking to Soul, to John, I'm talking to Ernest. Uh, put me on three way in right now. Mm. Well, Mama, they better not hang up. Oh, it better be earnest. I tell you that. Yeah, it better be earnest. And if they hung up, as far as that's the same thing as as, as saying that you you were guilty. 
It'll be a white sheet on the inside. I'm going to cut that one down a little bit, though. If you want, you can just do, like, if you see, like, one page that you really, really like, um, that might be your favorite, you can just print out just a bunch of those one sheets, you know, so you don't have to print out the whole thing. See, LaFrance used to be an operator for AT&T. So what? you are the reason why. You're fired. She said used to be. You were the reason I got in trouble. <laughs> you got to blame somebody, okay? You knew my mother tried to get her in a three-way. You should have denied it somehow. <laughs> ah. You were talking about the John was stationed in Hawaii, and we talked every Saturday for one hour, and no one could get on the phone until John called me that day. We would have thrown you out the house. Mm. I didn't tell John to go to my Hawaii. My mother would have waited until, if John traditionally called at 12, she wait and, and, and got on 11 the phone. 11.55 and, and called somebody else. <laughs> and if John tried to interrupt, well, excuse me, we have a Emergency call for what? <laughs> Emergency call. Mm, mm, mm. That is funny. Don Connor says, look, as soon as my husband walks in the front door, that work phone is turned off. Awesome. Please. When he walks out, and honestly, probably the moment his first toe steps over the threshold of work, that phone is cut off. Nobody calling me. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Look, Adam, me and Bill, who you think likes to be on the phone the most? All right, y'all think about it closely now. Think about it. Who do you think out of the two of us? You hear us, how much Tracy talks, okay, on these lives. Who do you think likes to be on the phone the most? Rhonda and Gay Ten and Cindy and Norma are fired, okay? <laughs> and Rhonda Higgins and Patricia Costa. Just fire them all, huh? Yes. They are fired, fired, <laughs> fired. <sighs> They know. Look. You know what, Amy? You know, I can understand that. Amy says, I can never get my grandmother to understand it with a mobile phone. Nobody was paying anything extra for long distance calls. That's because we were so trained. Yeah, my mother, she, um, we tried to do the mobile phone thing with her, but she just could not, she could not get it. Now she's talking about she want to get one, but I'm like, Mom, Everybody thinks it's me for some reason. Uh, Why do you think that is? Well, let's see. <laughs> huh. huh, let's see. <laughs> they know. You better mess with Bill. Oh, no, you better not. Mm. That's why I be singing that song. Right, Bill? What? When I come home. <laughs> From yeah, work. Exactly. Monty I call people up just to fire her. You're on the phone. Hmm. <laughs> That's Bill for you, okay? Trying to tell you that you're fired. That's why. <laughs> Monty had it right. Tell them they're wrong. Don't tell them they're gone. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi, 
Johnny B stepping high. Hi. Linda Huffman says, my mom insisted on having iPhones, just like us, but doesn't have a clue Don't not one how clue. to use them. We were like, oh my goodness. It's like my mother's computer, okay? We decided that we was going to upgrade her computer. Mm. Why, y'all? Why? And she never asked for that. <laughs> no, didn't know what happened? She just could not get it. We went back over there. She had unplugged the, the, uh, the other A couple computer. of times. Well, all right, twice. Good thing we didn't get rid of the older computer. She untook it loose. I don't know how she got it back to the, the other one. Back the old computer together. had like Netscape on it. She was like, I want my other computer back. I can't find nothing on this computer. Hold up. The Facebook, she had just about the original Facebook. It was so old we and she and un, unupgraded. And it had Windows 5 or something on it. Okay. We couldn't even figure out how to use Facebook. Only she could do it. I was surprised it still worked. It still worked too, yeah. I'm I'm sh I'm shocked that it still works. I didn't ask for this. We need to get t-shirts to say you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> Sonia. Get some t-shirts. You're fired. Talking about how... Joy Brown says, I got this paper I last week. As soon as I peek in on the live, we announced it. I love it. It is such a beautiful paper. Now tell me I'm wrong. Uh, you're wrong. I say it's you, Bill Phillips. You fired me. Indeed. <laughs> right, look, Sonia Creel knows. Then it says. Those shirts would be cool. A t-shirt that You're says, fired. Bill fired me. Oh, my goodness. That would be funny. <laughs> Only we would know the message behind it. Like, what they talking about Bill fired me? And if we me? see someone with that shirt on, we know, right? That's one of our mindless crafters. I figure I put dimension on this. Joy says, but well, every time we get hired back, we need to get a raise. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. You're not going to be firing me every day and then trying to hire me back when it's time to bake a cake or cook. You know what I'm saying? Hold up. Jill says, I thought my TV lost its color when I turned the live on. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. This is like a no color challenge, right? No color challenge. Would that be, wouldn't, isn't that, that would be a good challenge, huh? Let me see your black and white cards. At least it's her husband's on the phone more than her. Exactly, James Johnson. Make up to break up. Jean says, but I hired you back at dinner time. Hired me back at dinner time. Amy says, that car would be great with a big bowl sentiment. Oh, oh, with a big bowl sentiment? Bill, get me the words. Where? You have a, quite a few. Where? Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Bill act like he don't know his way around the, the crowd room. Keep reorganizing. It's just like the fridge. Just when I get figured stuff out, you change it up <laughs> all over again. <sighs> oh, good, Jill. I'm glad you... I know how my mailbox been... I didn't fix that mailbox. Okay. I'm glad that tutorial helped. I can tell when it's been messed with, as Mr. said on the color purple. Here you go. Mm. All of a sudden, he don't know how to find stuff.
Oh, not these, man. The letters. The letters be nice. Where? It's gonna be the uh, six oh, by eights. Okay. Oh. oh, you you use the uh, ink and the pen for the hope tag yesterday. Oh, M Sims, did you put it in the group? Oh, the letters, numbers and oh. letters. Well, I mean, I could use. Huh. You got these two. Hmm. Yeah, this is. Oh, that note to self would be great. Note to self. You got it. Yeah, note to self would be really good. Hey, y'all, how many y'all got one of these right here? I love this thing right here. This is one of the greatest. One of, that? one of the eight wonders, wonders of the world right here. He talking about this black, this uh, <laughs> black scratcher. That's what it is. It's back, black, back scratcher. It's a black <laughs> scratcher. You got to have one of them, okay? <laughs> Especially made for backs like mine, okay? Uh, <laughs> Woo oh my goodness. What the hell? You have a spot you can't reach. This is perfect. That's why you use your black scratch. <laughs> Woo like, what kind of back you got? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Only on the live, okay. <laughs> Stephanie, she got Stephanie got one for each hand. Okay. <sighs> Wait a minute, is that blood on the tip of it? <laughs> scratch my back. <laughs> That's a back scratch. You might just need some lotion at that point. If you start drawing blood with that back, that thing look kind of sharp to me. That like got blades on that back scratcher. <laughs> Don't say I lease it up back. I'm back. Never mind, I lean. Oh, I'm not even gonna go. Zell said, Zell, I did that last night. She says I, I'm still using the wall and dislocating my arms. That's what I'm that's what and I did. I did that last night. Oh my goodness, that is hilarious. Uh, somebody asked a question. Oh, Stephanie Brown says, Do you have a plan when you put start putting these together on paper? Or do you just start and let the creativity hit you? I just start mindless crafting. I have the elements, but I'm just not like I wasn't planning on doing the five by um, the six by six card, but then I, I was like, You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and yeah. Oh my god. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. What is a Puerto Rican back scratcher? <laughs> <laughs> that I'm trying to visualize That's some scratching. that. Scratching, okay. Bill got blood on the on the uh thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I wait so long to scratch. I got to really scratch. You need lotion, babe. Lotion, okay. <laughs> I need Greek. I need uh, Crisco. Okay? That's what I'm <laughs> oh my goodness! Baby can't say she knocked <sighs> her shoulder out of socket several years ago. I just can't. Bill, stop that! You're gonna be bleeding soon. <laughs> it's an itchy. Right there. Look, don't be scratching no fleas out up in here, okay? I didn't say coconut oil. Right about now, coconut. I need a coconut. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, Gay Tan says, I'm not Gay Oh, my Tan goodness. Says. <laughs> oh, goodness. That is hilarious. Y'all are too funny. Gay Tan says, I get a raise every time she gets rehired. She better buy everything in the crafting store. <laughs> Sonia Creel, too. <sighs> Dixie <sighs> said, uh, I got to catch my breath. Y'all y'all make she it. She likes nice. the concept of the cards we're working on. Thank you. Just making it artsy. Ooh, just I needed that scratch. I see. <laughs> Seriously, nothing worse than having a scratch you can't reach. Mm, mm, mm. The only thing worse than that is you ever have something like like, like, you know, like a phlegm or something on your chest. No. And you're trying everything to get out. You feel like you could, if you could, you, you could just reach your hand down your throat. And you I could just grab that spot right there. <laughs> and just pull that part out. It's kind of like that. <sighs> mm, mm, mm. Okay, not, not the phlegm, okay. <laughs> Ooh, Chris, you ain't lying. Chris said... Three-way calls got a lot of cheaters in trouble. Mm. You know, I got the, this back scratch for it? Dollar Tree. Well, when it was actually really Dollar Tree. I bought about three of them. Dollar 25 tree, huh? And now I can only find this one, so I got to make sure it never gets lost again. You bought three of them? Yes, because it's only a dollar. I think you got it. might be in the garage somewhere, babe. Right. I put one in the garage, one upstairs. Oh, that looks pretty one good. Okay. Look at the cards coming together. I don't know about I'm I'm kind of liking these six by sixes, y'all. Exactly, Zell. Zell said she better go buy a few back scratches before it goes up to $1.75. That's oh, exactly why not, I did it. They're not there yet at $1.75? I think more says try water and baking soda. Mm. That's when you know you're back bad when you got to put baking soda on it. Don't you use baking soda to clean pipes? It, it does work as a good... Um... Put some clean a nice, on your back, a Bill. great cleaner. It does work well as a great cleaner. Ooh, look at that. Amy K says when she heard Puerto Rican back scratcher, she immediately thought of a companion. <laughs> <laughs> Come Y'all on. are too funny. On, okay. Don't be calling Tyrone, Bill. Okay. I'm calling Tyrone for Amy. Oh. <laughs> Not for over here. <laughs> Tyrone knows better than that. <sighs> but I have my dog trained. If it even looks like Tyrone, you know what to do, Strawberry. Anyway. <laughs> Crystal said that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, and the case is not Tyrone Cornelius. Oh, Cornelius. There you go. <laughs> you know, Eileen, Eileen said we forget the old remedies our parents used to use. I'm going to tell you one of the worst things I ever had. Well, all Bill has to do is use this lotion, okay? Lotion. What are you trying to and say? And he's not breaking my nail, scratching his back. You know what? I mean, one Bill time, loves some rack scratches, okay? My nephew, Diamond, one time... I put on some, some short pants, okay? And I put on some sandals or something. He's like, uh, Uncle Bill. He says, uh, yeah, what's wrong with your legs, man? He, I said, what do you mean? He said, look, they have this stuff. It's called, it's called lotion. <laughs> <laughs> I fell out, okay. I, I don't know if you've heard of it, but you might want to give it a try. I was like, what? My legs almost white. They were so ashy that day. 
Mm-mm-mm. I can't scratch your back, darling. I'm fired, remember? You're hired again. Nope. I'm fired. I remember I, my mother made me take something. It was like a... It was for worms, right? Yikes. It was a white chalky stuff that they mixed with water or something. You had worms? No. It made oh. you take it anyway. This for worms. I ain't got to shut up. Come over here and take this. My mother had us do the... It um, was the nastiest stuff was ever. It the castor oil? Castor oil and cod liver oil. It was even worse than that, okay? It was so nasty. I put too much. I keep putting too much glue on here, but it'll work. It Just will work. Get the worm medicine. Hold on. What was the worst? Castor oil or cod liver oil? They're pretty close. I tell you that. Mm. Yeah, castor. All right. My mother did that. Um, it was the nastiest thing. How can it be sold? How can it, how can it be sold in such volume? I think parents got it on purpose to torture their children. It was to keep us healthy, babe. No, it's just teachers. Because you know you wasn't sick, right? It's the teachers that I am the master. You, you hardly, do what I say. You hardly got sick. I know this. What I'm about to give you tastes like it's straight from the depths yeah. and pits of you know where, but since I'm the parent, you're going to take this with a smile on your face. I'll be good. I'll be good, mama. Ooh. Bye, Donna. See you, Donna. We about to finish up here, too. Hold up. Zell Soon says, I was only given cod liver oil orally. Oh, there was another way to take it? They could have injected it. I'd have happily did that, okay? Mm. To avoid having to taste it. Mm. Uh, get the animal bag. This is where my other stuff comes in. Exactly. Linda says, we never got sick enough in this school. Right. He's lying. You had to be really near death and, and in the hospital. That's the only way you were missing. Mm. I didn't play with that. He wasn't playing. Okay, if I can put you in a wheelchair and get you there, you're going. <laughs> This black and white card is like... Oh, comely. That's exactly how I felt. I immediately get sick the second it enters my mouth. They made me sick by trying to make me take it. Oh, my God. I remember that, Monty. Tracy, right. I'm, I'm going to tell you what Monty just said. Tell me don't you remember this. The real torture was that red dye that your parents would put on cuts and scrapes. Oh, my Ma goodness. Mathia Kumbu. What's it called? Oh my goodness, I remember that. McCormick's, it's something, it started with an M. It's iodine, but it was called something else. I thought it was just iodine. But it was, it was terrible. Yes, Mercuricon, that's it. I've heard of Brewer's Yeast. Mercuricrol, it was something like that, but it was terrible. I was, I'd rather just have my arm fall off and they go in the house and I tell my mother so they can put that stuff on. I guess your arm will fall I off. I only then. need one arm. Oh, that's a line from one of my favorite movies. What? Want my arm to fall off? Somebody on here knows it. Oh, I know who that is. I ain't gonna say it. Who said that, y'all? Want my arm to fall off? Who said it? What movie? Let's okay. Say it first. A bunch of them know it. Somebody it. knows. Okay. Who, who said it? Want my arm to fall off? 
I'm looking to see if anybody knows. Somebody knows. Somebody knows. You really got to know this actor to know little strange lines like that. That one movie. It's a classic. Yep. Sylvia said Billy D. Williams. Billy D. Williams. Why my arm the fall off? <laughs> Let up and said Beetlejuice. I think they look about the same, don't they? Say, no, they don't look at no Billy. No, they, no Billy, not Billy like D. No Billy D. No Beetlejuice, okay? Bridget yeah. said Billy D. Billy D. Yeah, Ava Lee, too. Let up and said Edward Scissor's hands. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say that? He might have said it. I don't know. Billy D. He might have said it. Uh, see what said? Lady Sings the Blues. Lady Sings the Blues. I remember going to the movie and I'm talking about the girls D. in the movie. When Billy D walked up under that screen, you'd have thought I walked across that screen or something. It wasn't you, babe. Okay, well, stab in the dark. <laughs> but uh, seriously, they, they were like, oh Billy my D. God. Guys, I was trying to get their hair done like Billy D all over the place. <laughs> Billy D. Bonnie, that's exactly what it's like. She says, like pouring one hundred percent alcohol on the cut. Mm. And we lived, didn't we? I don't know how. Oh, that's what I was. Oh yes, and Ryan, Diana Ross did play in that movie. Yep. She played that part. She was what Billy Holiday, right? Yep, she did a great job. She did. That was one of those movies you watch over and over. We watched. I remember watching that in the dorm at college. See, we're right. It's Tracy. Did you see him in the Jeffersons? He said that to Florence. I saw that episode. Actually, I recently saw that episode. What did Florence it, say? Florence was going crazy because she was like, "This ain't no Billy D." She was like, "Y'all just trying to." And then he said that line, okay? It was hilarious. It's one of the, um, a popular scene from the Jeffersons. It was hilarious. Florence, because Florence already was just, she was like, she was like, this is not Billy D. Williams. <laughs> okay, I'm putting one more thing in here. <laughs> Let's see. Billy D turned 78. Get out of here. He can paint, man. Huh? Billy D turned 78 years old, Bill. Denzel Washington is about to turn 70, I believe. We watched um we watched the other night we watched uh what's what's the name of it? Just He's gonna fly us. No, just that one it's only gonna be for like ten seconds. This is one part here, hello. Here, here's the trace time about y'all. Fly us, okay. <laughs> Was it? Karma says I love Denzel. We watched um, what's it, what's it called? Not Terminator. What is the name? Uh, Equalizer. Equalizer. I don't know why I said that about the fifteenth time. Equalizer. I think I never get enough of Equalizer. Bill never gets enough of Equalizer. The one where he counts with his watch how long it take, how long it's gonna take. That's him. every one of them. <laughs> Oh, Crystal! Let me tell you what Crystal said. Crystal said, you might want to use that one for your feet. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
Crystal. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay. Oh, you want my arm to fall off? <laughs> that is hilarious. They're supposed to have a part two on, uh, remember the one where, where Denzel played the blind guy? And he was trying oh, to take a Bible oh, book, book of, across the country. Um, Book of Eli. Yeah, that. It's yeah. supposed to be part two. Oh, is there? I can't imagine how they can be a part two on that one. Make me want to watch it over again. He's played in some uh, some really good movies. No, I didn't see that. What? Oh, Comby said Training Day. Did you guys see Dave Chappelle do the Training Day skit with Wayne Brady? Mm -mm. I'm gonna have to look it up now because Dave Chappelle, I love Dave Chappelle. He is like this. He's so funny, but yet at the same time, he's so in tune with what's happening in today. Kind of reminds me somewhat of, uh, in a strange sort right of way, here, like maybe George right here. Carlin. But there's only one George Carlin, believe me. Something like that. There's only one Dave Chappelle. Gotta leave for a bit. We get ready to leave too, Michelle. Denzel's still making mu movies, huh? I could put it up here. I'd rather it be down here, though, and not, like, right on the page. So I could just kind of put it right here. So, yeah, look at your stamps and see which ones you could use, you know, for, like, to be black and white, you know? There's so much. See. Denzel just made another Equalizer movie. Why am I getting this? Now, does this card need stitching? It's the no. same. Because mm -hmm. it already has enough stuff around, around the side here. Yeah. Because that won't stop you. Oh, a silhouette stamp would be nice on there. No, Watson says that card does not need stitching. Right. It it's gorgeous. You just have like it as is. I'm liking it. All right, Monty. Monty's got to go. Monty it's says, a... look up when Dave Chappelle went out with the dancing girl from the Mitsubishi, I can't even say it, Mitsubishi Bishi Eclipse commercial. Mitsubishi? Yeah, that. that's oh, what okay. I was trying to say. <laughs> Look at that. Now it says I'll put one drop of color on the Look at that. end of the pen. Right, that's it, Carmina. Mercurochrome. Mercurochrome. So these, you can have these, and then later on down the line, add some color to it. They didn't come to pick up the garbage yet, babe. That's how they do. Come on, peoples. It might be night. It might be tomorrow. Who knows? 
There's no telling. Okay, let's see what y'all are saying. Natalie, <laughs> Natalie, we're not making you shop. Okay, Natalie. If y'all see Natalie in the store, we like Natalie. Natalie. I know you love us. She said, love you, Tracy and Bill. Love you too, Natalie, but don't let Natalie get in the store. Say, Natalie, put it down. Put the digi down. Natalie Blake. <laughs> put the Mother's Day stamp set down. Hi, Emmy Stevens. Right, you can do this. You can have whatever occasion, you know. Whatever occasion you want, you can add these to. You can make a ton of different variations of cards. Daddy says, no, I need it. <laughs> yeah. That's the beat of digitals. You can get you get them immediately. You get them right away. As long as you put the right email address in. Let me say that. Right. That we've had people who have said they have not gotten theirs, and it's because they didn't put the email address in. I'll put a little bit of something right here. Patricia Costa says these images will make a great inspiration sketch journal. Ooh. That's a good idea. What a good idea. Exactly. <laughs> so you could do something like this, right? You could do one of these cards in the black and white. Hey. And just put the butterflies in there. And make those in color. No, don't even make them in color. Just no, it ain't make an all black and white card. Make nope. one of them in color out of that. Black and white card challenge. And now I could just add whatever. You could add a birthday sentiment. Um, that's note to self. I can do like you got all of these. You can, or you can use the. No, did you ever get me the letters and numbers stamp from over there? Yeah, I gave them all to you. Please tell me. Oh, right. oh, oh the number. Here. No, I didn't. I didn't. Because I thought you. Well, I want to show it. them. I want to show them something. Okay, hold on. Let me get up. I got to show y'all one more thing. <laughs> one more thing. The letters and numbers. You said, let me get up. You still sitting there. Okay. Look, he, the he talking about let me get up. Oh, here sorry. it is. I got it right here, babe. As I finally got up. It took you a minute to get up, too. Exactly. <laughs> Sounded like, look, Bill sounds like this when he get up. I have to prepare myself. He sounds like this. I have to say, I'm getting ready oh, to get up. How many? The whole skeletal system. <laughs> the whole skeletal system. <laughs> okay, so. Crystal says, my dad has very dry skin, so I gave him a large gift bag full of Shiver skin products. Great for diabetic dry this. Look, Crystal, just give him a can of Crystal. Okay. Let's see. Bill, don't listen to this man. Crystal, that's an old time remedy. What about just lotion? Okay, let's just get you to lotion yourself. <laughs> okay, that's a new time remedy. Okay, just lotion. And he says coconut oil. Da 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 da. After this, we're gonna leave. Okay, I just have to show y'all one more thing you could possibly I do. I think this is Tracy's mother's all-time thing for everything. Vaseline. Yep. She would use some Vaseline. Oh, my God. Mama don't play about her Vaseline. She would use on anything, okay? She said that's what that's her thing, and her skin looks flawless. And Eileen and Patricia Costa both say shea butter, too. 
Her stuff it looks flawless. Flor floorless. You know what, Bonnie? <laughs> we, I, we got that one time. She's Bonnie says that's she got the one the, the creamy kind of Vaseline. Did we get that at Dollar Tree one time? I think we did. Yeah, we did. That worked actually. Yeah, she did. That is when Ariel was in the hospital, we were buying a bunch of that. Because at the dollar and it, store. And it worked. Because we bought about 10 of them at a time. I'm too fast to stamping on here, y'all. One of my friends, he he took shea butter and added a bunch of stuff to it, including lemongrass for the, for the smell. It was actually really good. Who did that? Remember I bought that big container of uh, shea butter stuff? Uh-huh. Anyway, it's it's like it ran out of the shea butter though. I need to add some not shea butter but but the lemongrass smell. I could probably buy some lemongrass and add it in, huh? Bill, I have lemongrass, babe. Can I add some in? No. Well, you're not, well, you're not using up all my good stuff. <laughs> I need some. Of course you can. Okay. It's I need to heat it up some kind of way to. to I gotta go in it. and cut your hair. Bill has to be pampered, but you know what? I can't cut your hair because guess what? What? Because I don't have no shaving cream. You fired me. Well, you hired back. No. Nope. Gaytan said it's okay. I'm not cutting his hair. Gaytan, tell her. JC says I love utterly smooth. Samantha oh, says, yes, that before utterly smooth your skin is great for dry skin and long lasting. Before your skin, that's what it's called. Before your skin. That's a pretty good name, actually. Right, Patricia. Patricia, someone gave her a homemade shea butter. You know what? Let me show y'all something Tracy gave me. And this stuff is phenomenal. Let me get this stuff right here. That's what Sarah's friend was selling it. Yes. That stuff smells good. I'm going to have to get some more of that. Because that, that smells, it smells really good. This is how I fill in if I didn't stamp it right. My ink pad is drying up. That's what it is. I am determined to not throw away any letters when I'm doing this, y'all. This stuff right here is by somebody called Perfume Chick. And one I got that I like is called Savage. This Sa stuff. Savage, babe. Well, Savage. Well, I call okay. it Savage. It smells so yeah, good. Yeah, I, I bought that for you. Thank you. This but stuff since I'm fired, I, I won't be buying anything. This is some bad stuff. Yeah. Since I'm fired. Ooh, it smells good. It does smell good. Um, Perfume chick. Yep. Is Sarah still on here? Sarah, are you on here? Now I'm gonna make, I'm gonna let Bill um get one of them grow one of them George Jefferson afro since he fired me hey I'm not cutting his hair get ten tell him I'm fired I can't tell Tracy you hired back <laughs> <laughs> he hot he fired us all y'all so Emmy Stevens says she puts peppermint oil in her coconut oh peppermint oil. oil is good too I use that for my locks. I need to put that lemongrass juice. I actually have a peppermint shampoo. And it's like, oh my goodness. It's so... It's awesome. The Perfume Chick. That's her name. Aquaphor. You know what, Jean Johnson? That sounds familiar. Aquaphor. I've seen that before. Is that a good one? See, this is what I have, y'all. Because I cannot. It's almost sandal season. But it's the lemongrass part is gone. So I need some lemongrass in here. It don't smell like nothing no more. It don't smell good no more, does it? How long has that been in the cabinet? About five years. You need to throw that away. <laughs> I'm sorry. Six, seven that, stuff, years. that stuff smells <laughs> About awful. seven years. It smells pretty bad. Know. Who are you trying to lotion with that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like... It might have been 10 years, actually. Yikes. Yikes. Woo. That stuff. 
right. Don't put it in my crap. Bill, take that out of the crap room. <laughs> that stuff. Uh uh. Don't be bringing that kind of smell in my crap room. I might throw this away. That needs might. <laughs> he bring us. <laughs> Woo! That does not smell good. Bill, that's been. We got that a long, long time ago. What on earth? He just bringing all kind of stuff into the craft room. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> that is not <laughs> I'm glad you get so much joy out of that. Okay. Yeah, I said I almost killed you with it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm like, what on earth? Yo, it smells got, pretty bad. I got to get this man tamed. I'm going to go through his cabinet and start throwing stuff out. Not throwing, throwing. It's, it's <laughs> instead, of smell, instead of smelling like lemongrass, it smells like the grass. I'm not even going to say what rhymes with lemongrass. After, after a herd of cows have been out there for, for saying, a couple of weeks. I'm not saying what rhymes with lemongrass. It's lemon, smelling that type of grass. Lemongrass. It smells like something else, but I'm not going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all get the picture. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. I'm going to be good. <sighs> That's it. It's going to get thrown out. It's going to get thrown out. Exactly. Mm -mm -mm. I'm like, how dare he bring that stuff up in here? Whew, sheesh. You I can still, still smell it. that. It is a terrible smell. And you what you thought bringing it in here was a good idea. <laughs> Fumigate my room now. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to fumigate. Can I get back to crafting? Whoo, thing almost knocked me out. Whoo, child. Give me a headache. I have had it a long time. Now I gotta go take some pills. Okay, get rid of this headache. Bill over here fumigating the room. Tracy, I bought it about three years before I left. I before can't... I left my last job. Huh? That's like seven years ago. About seven, eight years ago. No, six years. That's like five years. Bill, this thing has turned to a rock. <laughs> throw it out. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, throw it out. Okay. Throw it out. It's, you it's okay, you baby. Soft. It's so hard, I can't even... I'm going to have to heat it up. It used to be all soft. Yeah, back in the 1990s. <laughs> you're going to have to heat it up. No, you are not heating that up in here. That Because if it smells like that, by the time you heat it up, please. Right. Throw it out, Bill. <laughs> Right. That's right, Patricia Costa. She she's right on point. Read it. Patricia Costa. Read Patricia's comment. You, comment. My friend, along with Gay Tan, are fired. Okay. <sighs> you just can't with these people here. Throw it out. Okay, I'm throwing it out, y'all. It is pretty bad. I, I didn't realize how bad it was until I just took a sniff. You didn't have to get close to get you a just, sniff. You, and then you had the nerve to put it like right up in front of my Hey, take a whiff of this. And you can smell it before you even get near it, huh? Lemongrass. <laughs> you had to take a GR off of that, huh? Lemongrass. <laughs> Bill, I didn't say that. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Trisha talking about when you hire me back, I want to raise. Exactly. I mean, smelling some some stuff. That's true. Randy said, hurry up. They haven't picked up your trash yet. Huh? Right. You know, I think I will. Where'd that. you put it? It's in the bathroom. See, he put it right back oh. in there. Okay. All right, let me go get Don't it. open the lid. <laughs> Zal stole. <laughs> Zal said, let me go put some on my elbows. You 
put this on Zal said, no, she said, no. <laughs> Here's what Zal said, Bill. What? She said, let me go put some, uh, sh look, <laughs> looking like some, ooh, that looks cute. What do y'all think? What y'all think about that right there? This one. Oh, he definitely, he definitely putting it in the trash, y'all. He ran outside to go put that thing in the trash. Good. He probably got a bunch of expired stuff. I really like that. Looks fun, right? It looks fun. I could always, you know, do another one and do something on there maybe too. That looks really cute. See, I had no idea what I was actually going to. I knew I was going to do a black and white paper. I just wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. But this is so pretty. This is turning out nice. And that, it already has dimension. I don't want it to be too bulky because this, this already has dimension on it. So I'm not going to raise it up even more. I'm just going to leave it just like this. Mm, mm, mm. You sold it out? I did. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Thanks to bring me in. I'm going to have Bill, since I'm fired, I don't have to cut his hair. I'm going to let that thing grow out like one of them uh, George Jefferson. No. Where he got the little thing in the middle. If it goes too long, it'll be like Bozo. I cannot have that. Hi, Reagan Zick. Look, Bozo was cute. <laughs> What are you trying to say? Bozo, Bozo, dee 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 dee, Bozo, Bozo. That was one of my favorite shows. Bozo the clown. Bozo kind of scary. If Bozo walked up in here, I'd be afraid. Hold on. How many of y'all, when y'all was a kid, if y'all could have ended up on the Bozo show? Channel, oh, yeah. <laughs> with the children? The Bozo that show. That was my life's dream at that time. Just As get a me kid, on the Bozo show. To be show. on the Bozo show? Oh my God, I wanted to be on the Bozo show so bad. And they used to, in the newspaper, used to have these contests. You had to fill out some stuff. And if you won, you get on the Bozo show panel. I never won. I tried a bunch of times. I just never won. You didn't tell me that, babe. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at you. I love Bozo. If Bozo knew, if he heard your voice, singing voice, he would have had you on there, huh? He would have cared. Bozo. I'll have to tell y'all my story about how I tried out for the Apollo Theater. But that's on another live, y'all. That's on another live. The Apollo, the story time. The Apollo Theater gone wrong. Okay? Oh, y'all you know, tell them how your cousin signed you up for a rap contest. I am not telling him that. And, no, and he no. booked you for one. I guess he got paid fifteen hundred dollars or something. No, he didn't get paid, Bill. Okay, look. <laughs> I, I, and and y'all didn't even know y'all was gonna be. Why singing. are you telling all my business? That would be kind of quite frightening. Why are y'all telling all my business? Okay. And this person is deceased now, so I don't want to be talking about something they did. You know. But they did it. They did do it. How you gonna sign me up for something? Y'all, this was back in the day. This was back in the day. I was supposed to be part of this female rap group. That you didn't even know. I didn't know it though. I had no idea. I was <laughs> look at Sarah. Bill can't hold water. <laughs> Sarah Johnson. <sighs> yeah. So tell it, Trace. At least tell that. We got to get off, though. They want to hear that. The one the about the Apollo Theater. No, how you got signed the, up? How 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 I how I she how got I became signed part of rap. a female rap group. And supposedly, okay, let me ask them which one you want to hear. Okay, because we got to get off of here very soon. Do you want to hear the one about how I almost? Well, anyway, the the female rap group. Or the Apollo Theater. Y'all tell me which one. Okay. 
I got stories. <laughs> Amy says Apollo. Linda says Someone said both. both. Look at you. <laughs> Gene Johnson, I think you're fired. <laughs> said Billy. Someone said Apollo. Write a tell all book. Samantha, look at you. But look at y'all talking about both. We gotta get off of here. Y'all gonna be like, why are they still on here? <laughs> okay, so let me tell you the female rap group one first. No, I'll tell you about the Apollo. Let me tell you about the Apollo. So while I'm cutting out some stuff, I gotta be, I got my hands have to be doing something. So the Apollo, I think I was in. No, I had to be in ninth grade because I was going to Copeg High School. Shout out to, um, this is New York, Long Island, New York, Copeg, Amityville area. I was at, in Copeg High School. So that was about ninth grade, something like that. So I was part of this group, right? This singing group. And we would harmonize and, you know, we would have fun. And then we would go out. You know how your friend puts together a group? Somebody plays the instruments and stuff, you know, so you had a whole group. My brother was in the group, too. It's been so long, I don't even know the name of it. Anyway, we would do, like, go to, like, nursing homes and perform at nursing homes and stuff. So, I mean, I'm in, like, ninth, tenth grade. So, we get a chance to try out for the Apollo Theater. And we got it. We had dance moves and everything, y'all. We had dance moves the whole works, Bill. Okay. And so. As long as you don't tell me you got caned. Huh? You know how to have that person with the cane? No, this is the trying out for the Apollo. Okay, okay, go ahead. Right, this is trying out for the Apollo. So I was already nervous. And there was like maybe seven of us in the group. I was already nervous. So we went to go and try out and we, you know, we had the same outfits on, which I think we lost at the part with the outfits. Cause I, I just, the outfits were like, you know, wear a white shirt with some, with a, with a burgundy skirt or something like that. So we all were looking like the same, you know, y'all, why they go and tell us that Muhammad Ali was in, so you know, this is a long time ago. Muhammad Ali is in the audience. Nerves went from like, already was at 100 as far as nervousness. Once they told us that Muhammad Ali was actually in the audience during the auditions, I was done. Well, you know, like a hundred people are walking in and punch you in the face or something. No, but the fact that he was out there watching. Like, oh, okay. I'm not like, to me, I could carry a harmony and I could sing with the group, but to know that Muhammad Ali was out there, you in the eighth or ninth grade? That's true. I can see that. Ninth or tenth grade. Muhammad Ali, Bill. Right, he was the man. I was like, I was done. Then the lights, when the lights on the stage came on. Uh, were you out there on the stage? Yes. When okay, the lights ahead, and everything what? came on, some of the people in the group froze up. The <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold the on. harmonies were off. The dance moves were all messed up. Did they boo? The, I, no one booed. It was because it, it was like the audition. It was just silent, like dead silence. Wait, what in the snappy dap is this? I was, we had, and you know, we practiced the dance move. I thought it was pain like. Once they said go. You know, you ever watch that band on, um, Coming to America, even when he's up on the stage <laughs> and he's singing. What's that one part in the uh, when the band is just completely off? Oh yeah. And they trying to sing. We, <laughs> we sounded something that like that. Right? We sounded something like that. I was like, oh my goodness, dance moves messed it up. It looked like the song at that point was so long. The like, lights came in, on, huh? so you were like blinded by the lights. It was awful. It was a, a complete mess, okay? Complete mess. Kudos to people who could get on stage and just be singing. <sighs> so, y'all, that was my tryout. <laughs> now you got to tell the other one. 
for the Apollo Theater. That was it, in a nutshell. And that's why I didn't tell that story until somebody... Oh, well, did you... I bring it up? I brought it up. Yeah, you got to tell the other one. Though. The other one was so funny. Dance me. moves were off the whole bit. Okay, so... <laughs> Story number two. Oh, get out of here. My dad was at Art Linkletter's house party once when he was a kid. Get out of here. Look, Bill's like looking at me like I can hit burn the hole through my. <laughs> what? Okay, so the, the rap group one. So, you know how you're with your girls and, you know, which was me, my sister, and my friend Irene, right? And we had seen Irene recently, so Irene, we were cracking up about that story, like, about, like, back in the day, right? Yeah. So, does anyone know who Biz Marquis is? Let me ask y'all that. Biz Marquis, somebody on here knows who that is. He was the human beatbox. God rest his soul. Okay, go ahead. They know who he is. Go ahead. Okay. So, we used to hang around Biz, right? And Biz actually... Um, Biz went to our high school. Right? And uh, But this is like a little bit... I think this was later on. No, we were about 18 years old. I think I was 18 or something like that, 17, 18. So we were going to go hang out, right? And we were going to wear these matching outfits, right? They were super cute. Me, my sister, and my friend Irene. So all three of us had these matching outfits on. So, I mean, you could be portrayed as looking like a group, right? You got your matching outfits on, really cute, whatever. So we're walking up into this club, right? And so all these people are looking at us. So, you know, we get out the car, we went biz, and we, you know, we're going into the club. And everyone's like looking at us. And I'm like, why are all these people looking at us? Like, you know, I, mean, I, am I, I felt I felt famous. I was like, my outfit must be really cute, you know. But all three of us dress in the same outfit. Ciao. <laughs> What ended up happening was we were supposed to be a part of this scam. And the scam was that he was going to have this female rap group make an appearance and perform. So I'm looking around for the female rap group like, oh, where are they? You know, like, uh, like where's the group? Me, my sister, and Irene are supposed to be the group. What he's supposed to be getting? Yo, I don't know how to rap. <laughs> I don't know how to rap. All I know is he's in the back making a deal with the club manager for us to perform. He knows how to rap. I don't know how to do all of that stuff. He's making a deal like for fifteen hundred dollars, right? For to, for this rap group, this female rap group, to make um. You go over a, the stage, an appearance you and, and perform. I know you were like, what? Y'all. So how did y'all get out of it? Huh? Then he come and say, okay, y'all finna go up here and rap. I was like, I'm not, I'm not going to be a part of this. No. I am not going to be a part of this whole, like, whatever this thing was. He was like, yeah, but it's $1,500. I, I, I told my sister, look, as soon as he said it, he said, they're going to pay $1,500. I was like, uh, Yvonne, you know how to rap? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Irene, uh, you know, because to us, $1,500 was a lot of money for us back then for well, 18, he might as well say 17, 18-year-old. I was like, <laughs> Why would he do that, Sylvia? And we supposed to be his friends, like he probably was going out the back scamming door scamming somebody, somebody, scamming somebody. Got have been in there. He'd have been out the back door. Look, we had to make a a, a swift um a, a swift what exit out of there. You know, I'm like, why would you even do that to us? 
Yeah, that part. So that was the start and end. <laughs> right, just trying to do some, just some messed up stuff. Chris was talking about, <laughs> if you think you're itching now, wait, a wait until tonight, Phil. <laughs> I got this. So I ain't going to be itching. Oh, my thing. goodness. Bill, that thing looks kind of like. It's just wonderful. Oh, okay. Because it looked like. Like a little hand good. on it. Like, you see the fingers on it? Y'all, I don't know why he would have done that. That was just terrible. That could have been an all out riot you know i thought we was just going to the club and we could get in for free i didn't know we, down, you know that? i didn't know we would were uh you know supposed to be this fake act that he had us do you know or or trying to make us do but rest rest his soul okay Yeah, Sonny Krill said y'all could have just let him get on and y'all just stood behind him. Mm -mm -mm. Do a couple moves. Now I could dance, okay. I could dance. But <laughs> look, Sonya Krill still trying. Sonya, see you, Ann Ryan. it was a lie. I couldn't do it because it was a lie. And it just morally to me, it wasn't. Look, when he said $1,500, I was like, huh? You, oh, to learn, <laughs> to learn quick, though. you ain't going to have Ellen's daughter out here scram scamming nobody. No, sirree. Jean said, so what happened? How did you get out of it? We left. Quickly. And never Once went back we found to the club out. again, did you? Where was you living? Then never went back. Mm. There they go. <laughs> Selena said, Tracy, did y'all get sold out? <laughs> he trying to get this was trying paid. to get y'all paid. He's trying to get himself paid. He was trying to get himself paid. I was like, why are you telling this club manager that you got a female rap group? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Stories, y'all. Story time. All right, y'all. We're going to go ahead and head on off of here. Kelly Warner. This was fun. If you haven't received the last two notices, uh, go to that bell thing and cut it off and then cut it back on. Sometimes yeah, sometimes, works. yeah, they, they've been um, unsubscribing people. I heard some people are, are losing their entire Facebook uh, page and groups. Why? They don't know. They're trying to um, um, Edith. Edith Ray? Yeah. Scrapbooking with me. I think that's the name of her um group. She had to do another page. I don't even know if and start she, from scratch. If she got that fixed. I don't know if she got it fixed, but they it's completely gone, Bill. Like gone off Facebook. So I don't know what made it um I know they've been flagging inside of our group a lot lately for like little things. So just y'all be careful. Um Yeah, but to have her, all her work, all the stuff, her, you know, her following in her group. Yep, just because he's famous. You know, I mean, we knew him from high school and stuff, and he would come hang out uh, at my friend Irene's house. We would go and hang out over there. But other than that, you know, Facebook should be able to recover. I think that's what she's going to try to do is is get it recovered. So. We have no idea, so y'all continue to pray for our group uh, that we continue to to grow our Facebook group and and just con I've known people who've lost their whole channels. Yep. All right, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and head off of here. I gotta go cut Bill's hair. I'm just going to. Uh, I'm not rehired officially. You're I'm hired. still gonna cut. No, I I gotta hire myself. But we gotta work out. A contract here now, okay? It's different now. Okay, Tan, see what you did? It, it's <laughs> we gotta work on a contract here now. So um yeah, if y'all make these black and white cards, 
using this paper or if you just have something that you can make a black and white card, I would love to see it. Go ahead and post it in the group. I don't know why YouTube is unsubscribing people. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, just y'all be careful out here. <laughs> we don't want our group canceled. We want our group to be, you know, to be the amazing group that it is, connecting people. Trisha Costa. All right, y'all. Y'all take care. And we'll see you on Thursday. And don't forget, we have Mindless Crafting at midnight this week. So this is a different week, y'all. Y'all going to see us three times this week. We apologize in advance. Mindless Crafting at midnight, Friday, April 19th at 11.55 p.m. Eastern. Y'all take care. Bye! Bye. Then the help when you're fired.